Even the best turn pens don't sparkle without the perfect finish. Master these six tips and you'll be on your way to pens that shine. Sanding through the grits with the lathe running will result in circular sanding marks on the blank, often not visible until you apply the first coat of finish. To prevent this, stop the lathe after each grit and hand sand back and forth, or end to end, with the grain to remove the circular marks. Sand the length of the blank and wipe off the fine sanding dust with a clean cloth before moving to the next grit. For a superb shine on acrylics or wood blanks finished with cyan acrylate, wet sand using the nine grit micro mesh pads that range from 1500 to 12,000 grit, sanding at a speed of 500 to 750 RPMs. Soaking the pads in water with a drop of soap lubricates the sanded surface, minimizing heat buildup and slowing the collection of residue on the pad. Rinse the pads often when sanding to keep them wet and clean. If you're a fan of slow drying finishes like polyurethane, brush on lacquers, epoxies, or tongue oil, but hate the drips that can occur, consider a slow speed pen blank drying system. Simply mount the mandrel to the motor, slide the blanks onto the mandrel, and apply the finish. Running at only 20 RPMs, the finish dries evenly without drips or runs. Let the finish dry overnight and apply additional coats if needed. No matter how careful you are, it's possible to leave a small amount of wood fibers, finish, or cyan acrylate that overhangs the turn blank onto the adjacent bushing. Unfortunately, this can't always be cleaned up on the lathe. To eliminate an overhang, remove the blank from the mandrel. Hold the blank at a slight angle to a piece of 400 or finer grit sandpaper. Twirl the blank and press lightly against the sandpaper. This super fine sanding will create a micro bevel on the end of the barrel and remove the overhang. Consider something other than paper towels to apply cyanacrylate to your pen blank. Paper towels are designed to absorb liquid, not spread it. Using paper toweling to apply cyanacrylate may end up wasting the finish and creating an uneven application. A simple solution is to cut thin craft foam into one inch wide strips by about six inches long. Apply a drop of cyanacrylate to one end of the craft foam. With a lay speed of approximately 1000 RPMs, move the craft foam back and forth across the pen blank for even distribution. Using both sides and both ends of the foam, you can get four applications. Then, cut about a half inch off each end and repeat. Use a small amount of finish per coat and a slower speed to prevent splatter. Always wear face protection and nitrile gloves when working with cyanacrylate. Go the extra mile and create a pen with a super fine finish with high luster using the acrylic pen buffing system. This system works great on acrylics and cyanacrylate finished wood pens. After sanding the turn pen parts to 12,000 grit, insert the mandrel onto the lathe and add the cotton and flannel buffing wheels. With the lathe running at about 1500 RPMs, apply the buffing compound to the cotton wheel. Keeping a firm grip on the pen blank, polish the finished barrel with the cotton wheel and buff it smooth with the flannel wheel. Use light pressure for a glossy, smooth finish. Mastering a superb finish takes a little extra effort, but is guaranteed to make your pens a cut above the rest.